Hello, my name is Carolina Pard. I am a student from the Federal University of Rio Grande. That's my project of a DC model manipulated with a TIP-122 and a microcontroller. First of all, how we control the speed. The speed control of a DC motor is dictated by the amount of tension he gets. We can give this tension putting the negative and the positive wires of a battery in these terminals. And if we invert the wires, we reverse the rotation. As already said, the amount of tension is what dictates the speed. To control the amount, we can use the PWM technique. The PWM technique works using the average value. The average value of voltage and current fed to the load is controlled by turning the switch between supply and load on and off at a fast rate. The longer the switch is on compared to the off periods, the higher the total power supplied to the load. But if we only use the microcontroller with a TIP-122, we will need to change the code every time to obtain a different speed rotation. To avoid this constant code change, a potentiometer was added at the project. The potentiometer is intended to give the value to be converted in the microcontroller. We get different values by turning the potentiometer cursor. The value of the potentiometer is directly proportional to the motor speed. Besides the potentiometer, we had some other materials in the project, like a Arduino Pro Mini, a protoboard, jumper wires, the DC motor, two batteries, a battery holder, a diode, and the transistor TIP-122. The TIP works as a controller of the amount of current that goes to the motor. We feed his base pin and then the current only goes to the emitter if the collector receives a tension. This collector tension is controlled by the microcontroller. The microcontroller used is the Arduino. The Arduino code will be used to convert the values of the potentiometer to the TIP. A protoboard and jumper wires also were used. They had the aim of connecting the electronic components. So here we have the data path. It's simple. The value of the potentiometer goes to the Arduino. The Arduino converts the value to the TIP's range and then the TIP controls the amount of energy that goes to the motor. And here we have the final mountage. So here we have the compiled program. In the first part, we have all the selection pin. Later, we can see the void loop. In the void loop, we can have the part where the value of the potentiometer is read and then divided by 4. The value is divided by 4 because the TIP only works in the extent of 0 and 255. After the conversion, the value goes to the TIP-122. 
if we increase the value of the potentiometer, the value of the speed in the motor, it will be increased too. Then, with all previous steps mounting and the code compiled in the Arduino, we got the speed control of a motor without the need for changing the code.